Let's try this without the trays and draw what these wells would look like with those same answers that we got with patient one, two, three, and four in our prior experiment. Okay, so remember that the well at the top has A antibodies, and then this one will have B, and then this one will have RH. And so it's like that for all of them. Okay, this is a good way to practice studying make sure that you understand this. If you can do it without the trays, then you can just draw it in. So our first patient was, do you remember? Was A positive, right? And so if I were to take patient number one, if patient number one is A positive, so let's say this person is A positive, where would I shade in a reaction on this tray? Where would I shade in the reaction that showed me where there was a fight or where there was a reaction between that patient's blood, the antigens, and then the antibodies that I added? And remember, I added A antibodies here, B here, and then RH here. So if they're A positive, I want to shade in where the reaction took place. It took place at A, and it took place at RH. There's my positive. So that's what an A positive reaction would look like. Let's do the second patient. So the second patient was B negative. So what would I shade in for B negative? If you said you would shade in just B, right? Because they don't have RH, they're negative for it, so we don't touch that. So I would just shade in the B there. All right, so that person is B negative. Let's look at patient number three. Remember they were A B positive. So what would I shade in for patient number three? I would shade in the A because there's my A. I would shade in my B and I would shade in the positive because they are positive for RH. How about patient number four? Patient number four was O negative. O negative. You might know something important about AB positive and O negative. You should. All right, so what would I shade in for O negative? Nothing, exactly, because they don't have any A's on an O. There's no B's on an O. The, the, the antibodies won't find any B's. And then there's no RH. That tells me that negative tells me there's no RH. So the antibodies, the RH antibodies would not find any RH antigen. And so the O tray, if that person is O negative, would be clear, just like that. All right? You need to look up what AB positive means and what O negative means in the relationship to the universal recipient and the universal donor status. Thanks for coming.